Six two properties of parallelograms. Number one, use the diagram of parallelogram ABCD to find angle D. Now the rule says consecutive angles add up to 180 degrees. So angle D and 134 add up to 180 degrees. So we got to subtract 134 from 180 to find D. Doing so gives me 46. And that's number one. Number two, use the diagram of parallelogram ABCD to find X. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent in length. So we would have to set these two measures equal to each other to find X. So let's do that. So we set X plus three equal to two X minus four. Subtract X from both sides and add four to both sides. We get X equals seven. So let's type that in. So x equals 7. And that's number 2. And number 3. What are ED and FD in the figure to the right? Notice how AB and BC have the same measure. FE and ED are also going to have the same measure. So ED is going to have a measure of 16. FD, we just add 16 to 16 and we get 32. And that's number three. Number five, complete the two column proof. We're given that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. That's what that symbol means. And we're trying to prove that A, C, and B, D, the diagonals, bisect each other at E. Bisect means cuts each other in half. Statement two says A, B, and C, D are parallel to each other. And the reason for that is because if it's a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel to each other. Now for statement three, we're told angles one and four are congruent and angles two and three are congruent. They're alternating interior angles and those are congruent if these sides here are parallel, which they are. So we're gonna say alternate interior angles are congruent. So now we're told AB is congruent to CD. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. And now we just proved because of these angles being equal, so we have these two angles being equal and sides being equal from angle side angle that ABE and CDE are going to be congruent to each other, those two triangles here. And now it says AE is congruent to CE and BE is congruent to DE, and that is true because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. We proved that those two triangles are equal and those sides correspond with each other, so the measures have to be equal to each other. Now let's take a look at AE and EC. We're told that they're equal to each other. Now we proved that. So E is in the middle, so E is bisecting that since E is cutting AC in half. By the same logic, it's also cutting BD in half. So that just proved our proof, saying AC and BC bisect each other at E. That is number five. Number six, find the values of X and Y in the parallelogram P, Q, R, and S. So let's take a closer look at it. Writing in all my measures, this is 2Y, 6X plus 10, and y is 5x plus 1. Now 2y equals 6x plus 10 and y equals 5x plus 1. So let's set up those equations because we're finding x and y. So now we're going to have to solve a system to do that. Since y is already solved for in the second one, I can substitute y in the first one with 5x plus 1. So distribute to 2, I have 10x plus 2. Then I subtract 6x from both sides and subtract 2 from both sides. I'll have 4x equals 8. Then I divide both sides by 4 and I get x equals 2. Now to find y, I put 2 inside for x here since it's solved for y. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So y is 11 and x is 2. So let's put that in. So x is 2 and y is 11.
That's number six. Number seven, in the figure, PQ is equal to QR, which is equal to RS. So PQ, QR, and RS are all equal. So using that logic, TX, XZ, and ZU are all equal to each other. So 3.4, 3.4, 3 and 3.4. So the final length of TU, I do 3.4 times 3. Doing so gives me 10.2, and that's number seven. Number nine, find the value of A in the parallelogram. Let's take a closer look at it. In the parallelogram, opposite angles are equal to each other. So we set those two expressions equal to each other, and we solve for A. So we subtract 3A from both sides, and add four to both sides, and we get 2A equals 40. Divide both sides by two, and you get A equals 20. So let's type that in. So A equals 20, and that's number 9.